Hey guys, ZFR back here again today, and today um, I, we're actually going to meet up with um, Corinne, or whatever her name is, the sleeping dream lady <laughs> that we met in the last episode, we're going to meet her in here to talk about Siri, let's see if she knows something. Alright, before we do that, why don't you guys say we, um, join the round real quick. Let's gotta talk to this guy about. These fights are a pretty easy way to win money, so. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? I'm ready. Let's, let's bet. As much as we can, guys. Get yeah, as much money as we can. Fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, George's George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal. Provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, guys. A bucket of coin for taking some hits to the face. Tempting offer. I'm in. What do I do? Nothing much. Throw some punches. Not too many, mind. Then let him drop you. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Get out. All right. This is George's George, the pile driver. Let's May do this. I got to totally beat that guy though, even though he's huge. Freaking huge. like Come on, come closer. I see I could have totally beat him. Want to make this look at least somewhat real. All right, you better give me a lot, bro. Cause I could have totally won that. Congratulations, a beautiful fight. That was pretty awesome. All right, I don't think that guy definitely didn't give me as much as if I had won. I feel like I'm pretty sure if I won, it was supposed to multiply. I don't feel like he gave me that amount. Oh well, I'll I'll be back to that. I'll take that L for now. All right, where where is she? I'm I'm missing her here. Where where? Oh, downstairs must be. This dude's going to get out of the way. Move. Oh, upstairs. All right, I got you. What's up? A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. 
You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. The host asks some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Alright. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. With the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. I guess. We need to rush. We have time. Um. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her Excuse me, guys. Instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. <laughs> No. Let's continue. I feel like those are pretty much all we really need. The woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Woody Falco. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Your legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Natural. I knew you cared about her. But your tone. The emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Hey, I don't know who that is, so I say you know. Wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Siri never found her. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. I don't know who Dandelion is. happening here all right I'm not hearing his words I guess that it's supposed to be like that I have a feel I know what's about to happen next Dreamt 
of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? I heard about him. Someone left in the world's more in time in their will. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. I hope so too, lady. Let's go find this dandelion though. I don't know who he is. I'm guessing a Witcher 2 character or maybe even a Witcher 1. There are references to um the past games in here like different characters from the game past games that you won't meet until you meet in this game, you know. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are more. Old villagers pitching. Lords open their purses. Ladies do lie with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come, don't yeah. let's beg. What's the wish you for, anyways? To help men in need. How much do you guys want? Twenty-five. Fine, take this. That's a bit. Loyalty to the guild. Thank you, Master. We'll not one back in your honor. I'm pretty sure they didn't need it, but I tried doing something good for once in my life. They have a whole board of quests over here. I feel like taking these, you know, I'm not about to do them right now. Okay, um, where am I going? Rosemary and Nah. Don't know where that is. Oh, it's here in the city. Alright, good. You know, I actually forgot I can upgrade. I can do as quick though, cause I already know what I want. Wait, is it here? Yeah. All right, hold R one. All right. So is that something I have to put here? Oh crap, come on. As you can see I got my um little sizzle my little saddle sizzle waist on worked out. Can run again. Sort of. Not as fast on the city, but you know what I mean. Let's go see this poet dude. He kinda looks like a sissy. <laughs> I just can't help but say it like not being rude or a bully, but he's wearing sissy clothes, I'm just saying. But apparently, um, he's a friend of Siri, and she apparently visited him while she was in the city. So let's go see what he can tell.